And that's how I caught that platypus with one hand. Hey. Did you not hear a word I just said? Y'all need to get it together if you want some of this pie. We're making pie. You have no idea what to do, do you? You're mesmerized. I know how you feel. Part of you wants to call your friend to come help, but another part of you wants to join in. What's it gonna be, Becky, with the good hair? You like pie? It seems as though my eyebrow piercing has become, uh, glasses. I was just thinking to myself, Leron, you know what sounds good? Old style country pie, the old kind they used to make, the old one? Grandma's old recipe, old grandma's recipe. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a ramen dessert dinner pie. You looked as confused as when we were dancing. A dessert dinner pie. What don't you understand? Step one, be grateful. Step two, boil the water. You do any of those steps out of order and your ramen pie is gonna end up tasting like a flowery Popeye's biscuit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Nobody likes a Popeye's biscuit, don't you dare. All right, and while that boils, you just wait, because patience is step three. Step four is if someone brought you a Popeye's biscuit, throw it in the trash. It's just a handful of flour tossed in the oven for three and a half seconds. You want a Popeye's biscuit? There. You're gonna wanna take your seasoning packets out of your ramen, okay? But that's not until step five, so put those back. Now that step three has boiled, step five. Step six is to drop your negative Nancy thinking and be grateful about your life again. Step seven, put the noodles in. Step eight, stand back in awe. Step nine, look for your eyebrow ring. Step 10, reapply. And step 11, come back to awe. How? All right, now that that's going, we're gonna prep the pie by practicing a little bit of patience. <laughs> now we don't want just ramen pie. That's just dinner. You gotta have dessert too. What do we got in here for dessert? I see a couple Oreo cookies that have Oreo written all over it. A little bit of gluten-free cake. Now this is gonna bake and it's gonna cause your pie to become a cake, which is dessert. You're gonna put your cake mix down on your pie mix. Break open those Oreos and just place them in there as so. Simple as pie. Cake. Ramen. Now we all know cakes don't bake without eggs. I ain't got eggs. Now grandma always taught me if you can, do. And if you do, have mayo, use. And I do. So instead of eggs, we're gonna use mayo. That's gonna cook the cake mix. Don't believe me? Don't care. Turn off your boiling water. Turn off your judgmental attitude and follow me to the sink. I remember when my grandma used to do this, she didn't even use a fork. She just used her hand to strain the noodles. But she did have a fork as a hand, so I, it's a little cheating. And don't forget about your seasoning packets, okay? No, salt and pepper will not make up for the lack of taste. Kevin. Now, I know it looks done, and it is. And once that's done preheating, we're gonna bake our pie. But it's not done yet, so. Step three. Now it's done. Mmm. Bet you can see it from there. You're gonna do fantastic. And just let that sit in there for... Honestly, I have no idea. My grandma used the North Star to tell time. And Pacific Standard. So we're just gonna get down and boogie for the next 20 minutes. That's right. Nothing but eye contact and shifty hips. And you ain't gotta stand next to the oven the entire time, especially if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt. God dang, it's hot in here. Oh, there we go. Smells just like grandma used to make it. All right, bone appetite. Miss grandma, I'm stuffed. Hey, thanks for watching. Next time I'll teach you how to make a lunch fourth meal bucket of eggs. You heard me.